cruise up here, see what else we got. Okay, we got a, a boat launch by the look of it. Okay, cool. Five dollars per person fishing. That's not, that's not us though. Furthest away from people? Yeah. A gas grill down there. You ever seen that before? No. I'm going to take a second from furthest. You do what you want. It looks more level. He definitely ride his bike out here. Welcome to Peanuts Crappie House in Graham, Texas. Right on a lake. About two miles outside of downtown Graham, Texas. We got, we got water. We got sewer. And we got 30 50 and 20 amp service. Seems like a fairly new setup here. Well, check this out. They got gas grills out here. I'm pretty sure they're still setting up and getting everything built. Uh, seems like it's all fresh built. Talk to the owner here in a little bit. We'll see what we can't come up with. Find out exactly what we got going on out here. This looks fun. spot truck started pulling in this morning at six o'clock so we'll try the fishing out here later early morning fishing probably tomorrow morning 
Brandon was telling me he saw coyotes this morning. I didn't see them, but he says he saw them. Looked like a pack of them. We're right next to what appeared to be a cattle ranch. So they were off in there somewhere. He said he saw them up there in the trees or in the brush. I think that makes sense. Talked with Wes yesterday, who's the manager, I suppose, out here. And pretty nice guy. Gave me a, a veteran discount, which is fantastic. And did say not drink the water. So I'm assuming that that would be unfiltered well water or untreated well water so that's not a big thing for us we generally bring our own water so keep that in mind if you come out here one thing I'm not very fond of is how close together these spots are you know we've been to campsites before where Somebody else's sewage pipe was right outside my front door. And this is the case here. Well, let's see if I can show it to you. Here's my front door. There's a sewage pipe. Not a fan. But this is, it's a fishing hole. So as long as it ain't crowded out here, it'd be all right. And right now it's not crowded. In fact, we're the only ones with staying in an RV out here. Those two RVs up further from us, those are for the owners. Uh, Wes was telling me that this little venue out here is only about three years old. Oh, and it's still growing. I can see it. You know, we got some picnic tables out here. We got some, you know, gas grills. And I'm sure they'll upgrade that after a while. Uh, Looks like they got some party lights hanging here in the trees. Hang on, let me turn this around. We got party lights hanging here in the trees. But I can see where this would be a good party venue. Especially outside of the city limits, right on the water. Oh yeah, I can see where this could be a party venue pretty easy. Well, the fishing out here, if you use the, the crappie house, is $5 a day on the honor system, which that's okay. Most people are honest. So that's not a big deal. The uh, owner actually started this off with just the crappie house. And the way Wes was explaining it to me, or the way I understood it, when he bought the crappie house, the city of Graham offered him the land here because they had a an illegal dumping problem out here. So that would explain a lot of the trash we've seen. But uh, they're doing a pretty good job of cleaning it up. And I could see where in the springtime, the summertime, in the autumn, it'd be absolutely gorgeous out here. I could see where it could get crowded. But as a lesser known venue I don't expect it to get overcrowded man let me turn this camera back around there are ducks out here everywhere it's just in the this wow just look at that could you imagine waking up to a better view 
Wow. Now that right there is the crappie house. I'm out here on the little dock right now. But that's it right there. As you can see, the water's down. Looks like about six feet out by the tire station. I don't think that's producing anymore, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll check that out a little bit later on. I went inside and there's a few, few gentlemen still fishing in there. Looked like they had some baskets with some pretty good crappie in there. And these two here, they've been here since about six o'clock. So, I reckon they're just about hitting their bag limit. So we'll come visit over here after they're gone. I don't want to bug them, don't want to put them on camera. Look at this gorgeous lake. I think they call this Lake Edelman. Beautiful out here. They do have another fishing dock here. I like seeing the pole holders. Reckon they'll get this in the water before summertime. Nice little dock. And we have restrooms. Let's check this out, see what we got. All right, just a basic room. About all you need. Looks like it's maintained. That's good. job. You don't want no attention, do you? You don't want no attention, do you? Do you want to teach you? Wild paprika? Come on, come on. You're like, what you want to do right get? Get one, Brandon. One, two, three, go. Donkeys are mean. Well, they can be. They like hugging the horses. Cheeseburger, hamburger, store, long steak. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he put the things on the cow's ears? 
so they can identify them if they get out. Donkey sure don't want nothing to do with people. <laughs> that was funny. He's like, no, 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 it hurts. It hurts my hand. Can <laughs> <laughs> I let pickle back up? No. No, keep pickles in. He, would, he did it once, put his hand out like that, like I told him. Yeah. That's all it took, one time.